Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be me going through yesterday's Twitter war with Gail Simone stands after I quote tweeted her when she said she loved the Eternals, but she'd never read the comic. And she's a comic writer, mostly for DC, but she has done Marvel. And if you're going to say, I love the movie, okay, cool. But you're a comic writer, but you said you're not familiar with the comic. So as a comic writer who's not familiar with the comic and you say you love the movie, okay, that's fine, I love the movie, but what did I say? You loved race-swapped, gender-swapped robots because that's basically what this movie is. And then after that, all hell broke loose. I had to write an article on Geeks and Gamers because it was, had to catalog everything. It's taken a while for these people to block me and I've got a bunch of notifications, too many, too many notifications. So let's take a look at everything that went down yesterday. I'll, tr I'll try and get as many things as I can, but, but it's just pouring in right now. So let's take a look at this article where I've got most of the stuff archived. So here's my article. And now if you understand the My Truth, it's a bit of a joke, but obviously it's triggering a lot of people, which is what it was supposed to do. My Truth, I was attacked by Gal Simone fans because I called her out on Eternals. So here's what I said. A pack of rabid, angry Gail Simone fans attacked me on Twitter after I called her out for her Eternals take, which you can see below. So this is what she tweeted. Okay, I love the Eternals. I'm not familiar with the comic, I'll admit it, but I love the film. Lovely characters, avoidance of usual formulas, and lush visuals. I understand not everyone agrees, but I loved it. Loved it. So you said you understand not everyone agrees. So when someone who doesn't agree with you posts something like, ha ha ha, of course you loved race swap, gender swap, representation robots. Because she's the one that came out, she had the tweet with Kelly Sue DeConnick and said, sorry we took over comics, not sorry. Y you know what you're doing. She's she written a lot of Wonder Woman, so she's a lot of female empowerment stuff in comics. So I knew what I was doing. I was saying, of course you love the race swapped and gender swapped representation robots, because that's what they are in this movie. Sorry for the spoilers. Someone who says, I understand not everyone agrees. Someone who doesn't agree with you posts something, and you absolutely lose your freaking mind. That's hilarious. That's goddamn hilarious. So here's what happened next. I said this because as a comic writer, she says she's not familiar with the comic, however she praised the film, which race and gender swapped a number of characters. Eternals adds even more diversity with the MCU's first deaf superhero, Makari. The way these characters were introduced wasn't comic accurate. It turns out these Eternals are, spoilers, just a bunch of advanced robots, which is what I linked an article to from CBR when they talk about the advanced robots in the movie. This begs the question, why create a deaf robot? Like, if you're going to have, like, a super advanced android, unless it was, like, something happened to it on the way, why would it be deaf? It just seems like you put this character in for representation, just for representation. The movie was also banned in the Middle Eastern countries of Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, and Qatar for a gay kiss scene between Fastos and his husband, which lasted all of three seconds. That's all it was. I saw it, it's like, yeah, they have a kiss before he leaves. I'm like, that, okay, ridiculous, but... That's another bit of representation. Apparently some people like BuzzFeed don't remember that there's been other LGBT characters, superheroes in the MCU. But it says, with Eternals now in theaters, Marvel has officially introduced its first LGBTQ plus superhero. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? This was yesterday. Okay, 2019, Valkyrie will officially be Marvel's first LGBTQ superhero. And then you had, in Loki, confirmed as first bisexual lead character in the Marvel Universe. Everything that comes out is always the first, the first, the first. But it's not. So that's that's another thing. Okay. Anyway, Gail Simone would go on to interact with many tweets responding to her until I saw a notification that said, she quote tweeted me and she said, imagine being this guy. And then I said, I don't have to. I am this guy. Lol. Like taking the Like, come on. So I said, I gasped in amazement. Doesn't an esteemed comic writer who blazed trails for women and female empowerment in comics have other things to do besides yapping at people on Twitter? I guess she's in between runs at the moment. So obviously that's what I responded with. And then she commented back and said, lol, holy sh**. This is when everything picked up. So when someone with nearly 186,000 followers interacts with you, Twitter notifications start to pile up. So now I begin to wade through the filth that is Gal Simone stands, which I'm currently dealing with right now, actually, if you take a look. Currently, I've got 114 notifications pending because my article just came out on Geeks and Gamers. So that's what's going on right now. So not only yesterday, is it? it's probably more right now. The amount of pronouns in bios is alarming, but not unexpected. I made the grave mistake of having Geeks and Gamers in my bio. So I'm obviously a toxic man baby incel, which I was called, that needs to get laid. A lot of projection is clearly coming from these people. Sorry to whoever runs the G&G Twitter account. Yeah, for these smooth brains tagging you and trying to get me cancelled for some or something. Trying to get me cancelled 
for speaking my mind on Twitter. If you know anything about geeks and gamers, you know that's never gonna f***ing happen. But where I draw the line is accusations of being a white supremacist, which someone called me right here. Yeah, tell me you're a WP without telling me you're a double you're WP. Yeah, come on, man. Ridiculousness, absolute ridiculousness. This is the new tactic of the far left, including supporters of Gail Simone. I think this next meme is perfect in describing today's political climate if you do not align with these weirdos. And there is the meme. Anyone who is one step right of the authoritarian left is an alt-right, which is what I was called as well. G&G's alt-right, unbelievable. If you know the people who work here, alt-right, and then everyone else right of that is a Yahtzee. Yep, yeah, cool, good job. Apart from the one-dimensional trash talking and swearing, I think the best comments were the self-owns like this one. They weren't robots, watch the movie and you'll see. If you're gonna genetically engineer the perfect speed that you make them deaf, sonic booms and all, the Flash, man, what are you talking about? Runs past the speed of light, runs back in time. Like, he doesn't need to be deaf. You're crying over a comic book character, grow up. This is my favorite one. And you're crying at a dude, supposedly crying at a comic book character. Who's the bigger idiot? And people were concerned with my spelling on Twitter while I was in the middle of working out. Who's? Tries to correct me there. If you're gonna attempt to burn, at least spell it correctly. Sorry, bro, I was in between a burnout set of deadlifts. I'll be sure to spell correctly when I burn your ass next. But my favorite has to be this next one. So the person claims I preferred an all white male cast, which I never said. They don't even know the original race of the characters that the movie swapped. Nonetheless, they were crying to me about it on Twitter and hint, Kingo was Japanese originally and now he's Pakistani, played by Kamal Nanjiani who said we're upsetting the right people, and he's not white. Someone would prefer an all-white male movie. That sounds typical. Uh, Kingo was originally Japanese, you dumb f And then, the racism and projection from these blue checkmark pronoun in bio losers is astounding, as you'll see this next she-her says white isn't even a race. And now, the issue I have, this just happened, so I am now blocked from the person who is in these, is in these tweets, so I don't know if they're gonna come up on this, on this article anymore. So I'm gonna try and save them here in this video. This is what happened. This person wanted to comment about Magneto and him being Jewish in what someone else was saying. So she said being white isn't law. So the backstory of the character. So being white isn't the backstory. And I said, does being black count as law for Black Panther and Blade? Or is it cool if we make them white now? And then she says, did that happen? Nope. And then this is the part, this is the part, okay. Someone who is supposedly a white female says, is white a race? Nope. Okay, that, that's who we're dealing with, someone like this. So everybody, I said, white isn't a race, so it's okay to be racist to white people ac according to a blue check mark pronoun on Twitter. And she said, now you're getting it. So I said, cool, you're a racist, got it, 100%. And then this is the part where, uh, and then this is the part where she has no idea what she's talking about. She said, Magneto's law was his religion, not his race. And I'm like, oof, does someone want to tell her? Because the Jewish people are a part of a religion and a race. S Semitic people? Like, come on, man. What do you think the whole thing is you're trying to be against? Like, Yahtzeeism and anti-Semitism, while you're the one that's saying some anti-Semitic sh**. Now, everything that comes up on this tweet is going to be blocked. So now I've just gone through those tweets. Now you can see them there. So that's the Black Panther one. And then that's where she said it. So I had to say, cool, you're a racist because of what she said. And then apparently the Deadpool co-creator, Fabian Nichieza, I think is his name, thought he made an impressive takedown of me when he grandstanded about buying Eternals issue one when he was a child. So this is what he said. The idea that a race of super beings seed, being seeded across the planet should reflect the cultures that they are being seeded into doesn't make sense to you? That would, but that's not what the movie said. And then he says, I was 14 years old when I bought Eternals 1 and I thought Kirby missed the opportunity. How old were you? Okay, buddy. He also defended the film claiming that a race of super beings should reflect the cultures of the plant they are seeding. It's a decent claim, except that isn't what is stated is the reason for the Eternals, genders or races in the movie. They didn't say, okay, you're, you're gonna, Makara, you're gonna be deaf because we need a representation person here. And you're gonna, Kingo, you're gonna be uh, Indian, uh, Pakistani Indian, whatever you wanna be. And you're gonna be in this part of the world. And then the Asian guy, we're gonna put you in. No, they didn't do that. Ugh, it's so stupid. And this guy says a few tweets later, he admits he hasn't even seen the movie. So his point is invalid upon presentation. He hasn't even seen the movie, he starts talking shit. So he then goes on to say he didn't like the Eternals comic when he read it previously, so the high ground he thought he had upon his first pompous tweet came crumbling down in a spectacular cell phone. And here's the tweet. I'm not defending the series or the movie, which I haven't seen. I didn't like Eternals then or after rereading it a couple of weeks ago. 
I always loved his imagination, but as a teen and now as an adult, I never felt that series came together. So he's trying to grandstand about how he bought the comic, the first issue, back when he was a kid. What have you done? And then he says, I didn't even like it and haven't watched the movie. The moral of the story, kids, Twitter's not a place for rational discussion or coherent arguments. Just a lot of yelling and name calling. If you're ever in my situation, just remember not to take the negativity seriously and you'll be fine. Also, shout out to those who went to bat for me and countered the leftist comic stupidity on Twitter. You're all greatly appreciated. Yes, thank you everyone who uh, tweeted and retweeted and commented on all these people, these idiots. Special shout out to Anna, that Star Wars girl. No one can imagine what it's like to be me. That's me. He's not the hero we deserve, but he's the one we need right now. He's a national treasure from down under. Thank you, Anna. There's just so much hate going around. I, it's so funny because all I said was what was true. Of course, Gail Simone loved the representation robots that are in this movie. And she hasn't even read Eternals when she's a comic writer. And now I've got 157 notifications to have a look at on Twitter. For, for the people that say G&G is toxic, Geeks and Gamers is toxic, oh, you're all toxic haters, all a piece of istophobes and all this. All I'm getting is hate. How funny is that? So let's take a quick look. <laughs> yep, yeah, people calling me a C-bomb. Yep, yeah. holy sh**. Oh my goodness, look at how many, oh. Look at all these, look at, look at all these notifications. <laughs> oh, it's still going, it's still going, holy crap. 91 comments, 92 comments that just went live, you saw that. 92 comments, 32 retweets, 57. Okay, cool. Let's take a look at how many people have seen this. Seven and a half thousand. All right. That's what I'm dealing with, guys. So I was finally blocked by the person who didn't understand the difference between Jewish people being a race as opposed to them being a race and a religion. So that's what I've been dealing with, guys. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Be sure to smash the like button. Go check out the article on geeksandgamers.com. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, share this one out, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.